a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics makeup. Let's see how it goes on. Hi there guys and welcome. Today's video I've got some makeup to go through with you so here it is. Um, it's e.l.f. cosmetics so super super excited to go through this and show you everything. So a little spoiler, this is the finished look. I hope that you like. Uh, before we go through to the footage of me putting on the makeup and going through everything, uh, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Come on over and join the YouTube family. It would love to have you. Hit the little notification bell as well. It'll just let you know whenever I upload a video. And of course, if you like this video, please remember to smash that thumbs up button. It really, really does help my channel out. Right, guys, so I just want to note, I am not a makeup artist. Um, I hardly ever used to wear makeup if I'm honest uh, up until a couple of years ago and now I kind of wear it every day I don't like leaving the house without it because of my melasma um, so I feel like I have improved a lot um, but I am still not good at it I am really not good at it so in my last couple of videos where I did makeup um, I had a few negative comments in there so it's taken me so long to build up the courage to do another makeup video um but yeah i am not a makeup artist i will use the wrong tools that is just me and who i am i use things that are comfortable for me um this is just to give you an idea of what the products are like so yeah let's see how the makeup applies the first thing we're going to start with is this this is the 16 hour camo concealer uh in the shade fair beige so this is what it looks like there's six mils in here let's get to it so the places that i put concealer are here here i also because i've got my last you can see there i pop that there and then blend it out same on the other side like in the coverage of this i've used this before ages ago um but i think i got the wrong color uh, so i like to pop some on my forehead as well because um that is awful of melasma too uh, i just put a tiny tiny bit on my nose because i've got spots of melasma as well i'm covered in it a tiny bit there and there because i've got a few bits of melasma there too so let's get blending right so that is concealed basically everything i've wanted to conceal i can still see my melasma a little bit but that's absolutely fine i really do have trouble covering that up next we're going to move on to this um so this is the color correcting full coverage natural finish uh cc cream camel cream um i've heard very very good things about this so let's give it a go i got this in fair 120 and there is 30 grams in here i really really like this squeezy chew packaging right so that is the foundation applied if you want to see the foundation applied i will link a video up there i'm going to be doing a wear test an all day wear test with it um so i will upload that video before this one um but next let's get some powder i didn't buy any new powder as you can tell by the slightly minging packaging um i bought this a little while ago and i got it's elf and it's an elf video so there you go it is perfect finish hd powder in clear that is what it looks like so you can see that i have enjoyed using it so it looks white there let's get it on Right, so next I bought these Bite Size Face Duos. So we've got a blush and a highlighter here. Um, I left the pinky colours alone. I went for more peachy tones. Um, so this one is called Cantaloupe. And this one is White Peach. So which one am I going to put on? I think today I'm going to go for the lightest one, which is the Cantaloupe one. Let's get this on. That is the blush part on. It is a very, very nice shade, something very different for me. Put a little bit too much on my nose, so we'll just ignore my nose. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. So now time for the highlighter. So that's the highlighter on. Look at that glow. It looks like wet. That's, yeah, what it looks like. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, guys, next I picked up this. So this is something I don't normally pick up. I normally use like a brown mascara on my eyebrows, but I actually picked up a brow product. Are you proud? Um, so this is Wow Brow and it's in the shape Taupe. By the look of that packaging, I think I've picked it up in the wrong colour. 
Oh, is that too loud? I might get away with it actually with all the greys that I've got in my hair. So <laughs> let's put this on. Okay, so that's one eyebrow done. I've left this one so you can see the comparison. Mm, I bought it too light. My very first eyebrow product and I buggered up. It feels nice in the eyebrow though and it went on really, really nicely. Um, I'll have to go back and purchase like a darker colour maybe. But I'll see what my hair is like when it's down because the greys are real people so hopefully they'll just mesh it. Yeah, you can see my greys there. Obviously I've got a bit of makeup in my hair too but we'll see what it's like when my hair is down. Right, so next is eyeshadows and I got these bite size eyeshadows. I got it in the colour Rose Water. Um, pumpkin pie, can barely see without my glasses on, and cream and sugar. Uh, I think I'm going to use the cream and sugar today. So these eyeshadows are quite pigmented. They are so soft. They are gorgeous. Um, they go on the eye lovely with the brush, and that goes the same for the shimmers as well. They're just so easy to blend. Even a novice like myself can do it. Um, I think I achieved a really pretty look. I hope you agree. Um, but I absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed using these eyeshadows. And next I have mascara. So the one I've got is the Volumizing Mascara uh, in black in 7 grams in here. So let's open it up. So this is what the tube looks like. Oh, I love the brush. And that is what the brush looks like, but let's get this on. Okay, so that's one coat on the top lash. Mm, it's not very volumising, if I'm honest. Uh, my eyelash here is doing something weird. They've started curling down there, so I ignore that bit. But it doesn't look like there's much volume. Okay, so that's two coats. Mm. Okay, so that's two coats on each lashes, and I'm not thinking much of it. I'm just, I've had a little accident with it there. I'm just going to let that dry, and then I'll... Uh, flick it off so it doesn't remove the makeup but mascara mm, dodge right so i've put three coats on now uh it's okay but mm, i was expecting more especially with that brush <laughs> never mind right so lips are next so I bought a few lip products. We'll start off with these. So these are satin lipsticks. Um, I just love, love, love the colours of them. I think they're so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, I've got satin lipsticks, two of them. I also got six sheer matte liquid lipsticks too. Um, obviously I can only wear one. I think I'm going to wear one of these. Um, and I think I'm going to wear the Praline Petal, I think. What a lovely colour. That's like, obviously I've got foundation and concealer on my lips at the moment, but that's like my colour, but better, way better. Mm. Feels really lovely and soft and light on the lips as well. And that is what that looks like wet so I'll wait a few minutes to let that dry right so that is dried off a little bit now um i really really like that color really really beautiful last but not least i have this we have some set and spray um i got a matte one so let's pop this on i tried one of the set and sprays from elf in a previous video i did or a long long time ago and i can't remember if this is the one or not but I have no idea but just to say in this you get 60 ml let's get spraying uh, let's just see what the spray is like okay it's nice and nice and soft mist it looks like a really fine mist but when you're spraying it on your face it's like it's shooting it in your face that sounds really wrong but never mind right guys face is done i'm just gonna pop away do my hair, come back and give my final thoughts on the products that I've used today. So a be a moment. Right guys, all done. So let's just have a close up of the old mug here. <laughs> I 
Right, so let's just go through the products and see what my thoughts are. So the first thing we used was this, the 16 hour camo concealer. This stuff is amazing. It's really thick, but it doesn't feel thick and heavy on the face, which is really good. The coverage is amazing. I love this. If you want to see my thoughts on the Camo CC cream, I've linked the video down in the information box, so go and check that out. Next, the Perfect Finishing HD Powder. It's not the best powder I've ever used, but it is a good powder. Um, I do enjoy using it, so it's half the battle, really. Next, we have the Bite Size Duo Palettes. So the blusher in here is very, very pigmented. Be careful. As I said, I put way too much on my nose there, but never mind. I uh, really, really enjoyed using it. The highlighter in this is absolutely amazing. I mean, look how glowy I am, for God's sake amazing absolutely amazing next we've got the wow brow product um i don't know did i choose the right color now that my hair's down hmm, did the grays match in with the eyebrows <laughs> maybe i could have gone a shade darker but i'm happy with them nonetheless it was a really nice product to use the, it, my eyebrows feel nice they don't feel too crispy or anything which is great not that you walk along touching your eyebrows in any way um, but yeah, they feel really good. So happy I bought this. Right, guys, the bite size eyeshadows. Oh my god, these are so so good. I mean, look at that. I went for a nice natural look. These blended absolutely gorgeously. I am so happy I bought these. Um, I really like the look I've created and the size of them as well. If you just want to take one of them and you're going away somewhere, that's not going to take any room of it all, really, is it? Um, but yeah, that I really enjoyed it. The experience of using these blended really very, very easily. Um, even the shimmer could put that on with a brush. It's better with a finger, don't get me wrong, but I could still put it on with a brush. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Next, the satin lipsticks. Obviously, I didn't put any of these on my lips, but from the swatches, they feel really lovely and buttery and smooth and freaking gorgeous. So yeah, can't wait to try them on. The Sheer Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I bought this one, which was the shade uh, Praline Petal. Amazing. I love the colour of this one. Um, it's dried down lovely. There's a little tiny bit of a stick there, but that doesn't bother me at all. But yeah, what can I say? It feels really, really comfortable on the lips, um, which is great for a liquid lipstick. The mascara not my favorite if i'm honest i have got three coats of mascara on um and it's not very volumizing at all i thought the brush would have been really really nice i thought it would have really grabbed my lashes and what have you but yeah wasn't blown away by this um not in the slightest if i'm honest i will continue to use it because i'm not wasteful but mm, it's okay but Nah, not volumizing. Next, we have the matte setting spray. Um, it's a very, very fine mist that comes out, which is great. But when, um, like I showed you when I was putting it on, um, when I was actually spraying it on my face, it felt like it was just drenching my face, which is really weird. Um, but it's a nice setting spray. Um, I don't know. It's just a very small setting spray. I wish it was bigger. Hi guys. So overall, I am really, really happy with the makeup that I've bought. Um, obviously tried everything it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous didn't really like the mascara it, there was nothing special about that but overall love it love it love it love it right guys so that concludes this video thank you so much for watching if you have not already hit that subscribe button come on over and join the youtube family if you have not already please hit that thumbs up button uh, obviously if you've liked the video um, i really really hope that you have but i will see you in the next one bye